with short um, times when it was out of power called Fianna Fáil was just it, that, that's the party that was in power from 1997 right through the boom and, and the, 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 the bubble uh, and then brought in the IMF and the EU and the massive cuts, etc. So come the general election in February, it was absolutely hated. It had, it had got back into power in the general election in 2007, yet now, three and a half years later, was absolutely hated and was eviscerated at the polls, going from just about 80 seats. There's 166 seats in the, in the Parliament of the Republic of Ireland, down to 20 seats which was an historic uh, defeat for this, uh, uh, for, for this uh, party. The Green Party, incidentally, was in coalition government with Fianna Fáil. They had six seats in Parliament, giving them two very senior ministers in government, utterly capitulated on everything they said they stood for in opposition, utterly capitulated, uh, facilitated all the cuts, the austerity, the IMF, the EU, the whole lot, and then were absolutely wiped off the face of Irish politics uh, by the anger of the people coming back with no seats and are uh, really in, in enormous crisis. Now, the second capitalist party, Fine Gael, increased, and the Labour Party almost doubled its seats, which would be uh, similar to the NDP party uh, here. Now, um, so... so the, the, whereas a, a second capitalist party has replaced, if you like, the main capitalist party, that the election was very significant in the sense that people felt they were voting for some kind of change and hoping for some kind of uh, change. Now, of course, they've got exactly the same programme. And the Labour Party, which put up a posture of being opposed to the IMF, EU deal, etc., etc., and was making a lot of uh, noises in the course of the election campaign, are in the government with the Fine Gael and have utterly capitulated to all the demands of the IMF e EU and are now leading the charge for the cuts uh, and the attacks on the, uh, on the, uh, the uh, working class. But how, the, 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 how, how quickly, you know, in a crisis, uh, the, the face of politics can change is that in, in the Fianna Fáil party, the main capitalist party, in Dublin City, which is the capital of the country, as you know, Fianna Fáil has one seat in the parliament in Dublin. The Socialist Party has two. Uh, and the United Left Alliance has four. So it's, it's just an incredible turnaround. Uh, 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 um, a development, by the way, that was foreshadowed by the European Union elections, the elections to the European Parliament in June of 2007, when we, the Socialist Party, contested Dublin. Uh, the, the, it's 1.3 million people, about a third of the population, a little bit less than a third of the population, on a very strong left program, on the basis of our campaigning record in activity, and on the basis of the need for a socialist uh, 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 alternative. And... Um, the Dublin constituency had four seats in the European Parliament. That was reduced in 2007 to, to three seats. So, if you like, we, 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 we were like the, 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 the little Davids against the Goliaths in there. Uh, and one person was going to, one sitting parliamentarian was going to lose anyway. But the, the way that the election turned out was uh, quite astounding. The, the, the first two seats filled was one for the Labour Party, one for Fine Gael, the second party of capitalism. And then that left us, Fianna Fáil, the main capitalist party, and Sinn Féin, which had the, a, a seat in the parliament, struggling for the, uh, for the last seat. And the very last count we gave the, the, the Fianna Fáil guy, the Sinn Féin were, were out of the race, the Fianna Fáil guy, 79,000 votes, and the Socialist Party, 82,000 votes. So if you like, a left alternative <laughs> programme uh, defeated the main party of capitalism in the, in, 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 the, in the city of Dublin. And what it represented, not that uh, everybody voting for us was now conscious socialist or revolutionary, but, for, uh, but on the basis of the idea of an alternative, and uh, also on the record of struggle. And I think that that's an important point, and it's an important point for, uh, for yourselves uh, uh, here as well. Um, just briefly, the, um, y 
Yeah, I, 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 I've been following a bit the, the Canadian election of, uh, of recent times, and it, it is uh, quite, and there are uh, some uh, uncanny uh, parallels. And the NDP, I think, will mirror the Irish Socialist Party in many ways, you know, flattering to deceive in a sense where it will be found out, say, in, in, in its role, in, even, in the fe even in opposition in the federal parliament. And I think the role of the NDP in provincial parliaments um, have, you know, that they haven't, if you like, uh, lived up to the expectations of uh, workers who would, uh, who would uh, uh, support them. And, but in Ireland now, new, new sharp political changes are, are obviously in preparation. Because this Fine Gael Labour government will finish up in a few years as hated as the, the government that was just kicked out. And the question is, where do people go then for, in, in terms of, of, of an electoral um, um, alternative? And, and therefore we can see important openings for the left in that context. Now it is true that the mood among the working class in Ireland, in the south of Ireland, is quite subdued at the present time. In the initial days of the struggle, the two, two or three years ago, there were some big mobilizations. There was a one-day strike of a third of a million public sector workers, which was massively successful. Tremendous solidarity. But completely undermined by the leadership of those unions, which just not, not just did not lead, but came out and said, we agree now with the government that we have to have these cuts, that the, 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 the country cannot afford to maintain the, the, the services that we have. So undermined by the... Uh, the, the, the uh, so we have, in the United Left Alliance and the new position in the uh, parliament, we obviously have major um, uh, uh, responsibilities. And the key point, and, and this is a point that was raised here today in, in, in the discussion and, and in the uh, resolutions and the material and that, and, and the constitution is, that, that the electoral orientation is only one aspect of, of, of a left party. It's an important aspect, but it's only one aspect, and critically is the mobilization uh, 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 and the campaigning activity of the left uh, party. That's absolutely um, essential. So whereas we can in Parliament and through Parliament with our, our position in the media, etc., now, make important uh, uh, progress in terms of putting forward ideas, a program, but critically to try and assist the mobilization of the working class, of communities in response to the issues that are confronting them. And really the reason that the left has five seats in the Irish Parliament is because of, rec of a record of struggle and trying to lead struggles and participating in struggles over the past uh, 15 years or so. We, the Socialist Party, for example, led a major anti-water tax in Dublin, which had tens of thousands of householders boycotting this, this, this tax, with a lot of very complicated and difficult struggle in, in many ways, but was a successful struggle. And that, uh, uh, that was a very good platform. Um, we had a major battle against another form of local taxation in 2003. I, I, had, I was a member of the Irish Parliament at the time, but it didn't stop them sending me to jail for a, a whole month in, a, as a result of that particular struggle, along with 20 other uh, activists. In 2005, we used the position in Parliament to expose a massive uh, ex worker exploit migrant worker exploitation scandal where a, a major Turkish company was imported a thousand workers for public work schemes in Ireland and then brutally exploited them for a period of years before it came to our attention we were able to use the parliament to blow it open and then he, he, he used that as well to mobilise the workers who came out on, on strike, unprecedented in Ireland, to have hundreds of migrant workers marching through the streets, chanting in Turkish, uh, 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 because, if you like, of the interaction of uh, the public parliamentary and uh, work of the, of the Socialist Party and, and uh, struggle. And incidentally, I, I don't have time to go into that story now, but it finished up that we found um, and got back for the workers by the force that we were able to put on the state, 40, the equivalent of 40 million, 40 million Canadian dollars that had been robbed from these thousand workers over the three pre uh, previous years. And uh, that, that was, uh, but again, 
what, what the, 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 those points show is that the absolute interaction that is necessary between the electoral and the campaigning. And, you know, the point but was the interesting points were made this morning about socialism. The, and I, I am very happy that you did choose the name socialist because I think it does give a very clear. Uh, uh, no nonsense uh, idea that you st stand for an alternative, but really, the uh, apart from explaining ourselves and what socialism is, etc., which we must do obviously. But the other thing that gives a good name to socialism is when people see the socialists, the activists, standing up and fighting, honestly and uh, forthrightly for communities, for the interests of the working class, joining in every struggle and being part in assisting every struggle that is taking place and that, that really is what uh, uh, what uh, creates if you like a tremendous credit and assistance to uh, in in uh, building the, uh, the the left and i think that then that, that they they do go hand in hand we have to link those struggles with the need for a socialist uh, alternative explaining uh, explaining what we need i think comrades finally really we we are seeing right across the world at the present time, a, a systemic crisis of uh, capitalism. And we do have a responsibility more than ever before to explain. There is no beating around the bush. We need to end this system and we need a socialist alternative in response to this, uh, to, to, to this uh, crisis. And we have increasing questioning right around the world as to what is the way forward. How can the economies and the structures of society be changed? And our role as lefts, as, as, as socialists, is to explain uh, um, uh, quite straight and quite honest facts, figures, um, uh, etc. And then by, sh by, if you like, by being the best fighters in relation to the various struggles to the working class people. And critically also, that as we develop uh, parties, small parties initially, that we are able to overcome the huge cynicism that workers have towards establishment politicians, which is a, a big problem. But I think already in Ireland we, 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 we are doing that and have done it to a certain extent. And one key reason for that, for example, is all our parliamentarians live on the average industrial wage of, of, of an ordinary worker. And the rest of the salary goes to funding the party and to struggles and strikes, uh, uh, etc. And that's uh, publicised uh, uh, every year. It's a very important demand. Uh, that uh, I think the left and, and the, the socialists have to, uh, ha have to uh, implement because we demonstrate in practice that our only interest is the interests of the working class and of taking society forward rather than the, uh, uh, the, the type of vicious betrayals that we have seen and the self-promotion and the aggrandizement material in other ways of those who posed as the, uh, the left and as the, uh, the leaders of the labour movement in the, the past. So I think that we have now a major historical responsibility to begin and to, put, put, to press forward with the facilitation of the creation of new parties of the uh, working class, which would be parties of struggle, but critically parties that offer the socialist alternative as well. And the creation of such parties, which I think will come more and more to the fore over the next period, will be a key part in the construction of a new leadership that will be capable of uh, giving the, 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 the lead, the ideas, the programme and the strategy that can uh, arm the working class politically for the struggles ahead and particularly for the ending of the overthrow of this vicious uh, backward system of war, of capitalism, of warmongering, of wastage, etc., and the establishment of democratic socialist uh, societies, which will really be a huge step forward for humanity.